Hey guys, in this video I'm showing you how to place a bead onto a sliding knot bracelet. So this one here has two sliding knots that slide along and we've got a beautiful glass bead that we've secured in the center with a little knot on each side. For our bracelet today we're using 60 centimeters of 1.5 millimeter satin nylon cord. We've also got a beautiful glass bead with a big hole. So whatever size bead you're using, it must have a hole big enough to fit your thread inside. Now we start by placing our bead onto the thread and pulling it down near the middle. Now you don't have to secure the bead in place. You could have it just on your bracelet and it could slide along a little bit. It's totally up to you. So if you want your bead just sliding along, then just disregard these next steps for locking it in place. So if you do want to lock it in place, then place the ends together and follow it back down to hold that bead right in the center of your cord. Now holding that spot just on the right hand side of the bead and then bringing the cord down the back and around our finger two times to form two full loops around our finger there. Now gently removing those loops and bringing the end of our cord around and placing it down both loops. Pulling it out the right hand side and gently pulling this knot down tight onto that spot. Pulling that nice and tight and tidy. Now we can slide the bead up against that knot making sure it's nice and tight, and then swap it onto the opposite side. Again, holding it in our left hand just beside the bead, and then bringing the cord around our finger two times to form two full loops around. Now gently removing these loops off our finger, and bringing the end of our cord around to place it down both loops. Pulling it out the right hand side, now this time we gently want to work our knot down slowly so that we can get it right up next to the bead. Just gently working your cord, pushing the loops and pulling the end out the centre. Once it's in place you can pull it down really nice and tight and you should have your bead sitting in the middle with a knot holding it secure on each side. We want to make sure both our cords are even at this point. So holding onto that bead, pulling your cords out straight and snipping that longer end off. It's much easier to get your knots even if these cords are even as well. Now onto our sliding knots. So lay your cords down on the table with the cords overlapped and this left side cord at the top. Now picking it up in our left hand and holding it with this top side cord at the back. Making sure we've got a little bit of length on this cord here. And then bringing it over the front, down and out the back to form our first loop here. Gently holding on to that loop there. And again, bringing our cord over the front down and out the back for our second loop. Now gently bending the tail end of our cord around and placing it down both loops. Pulling it out the right hand side and pulling that knot down nice and tight and tidy. Now swapping the bracelet onto the opposite side, again holding it in our left hand with this left side cord at the back. Making sure there's a little bit of length on this cord and then taking it over the front, down and out the back for our first loop here. Then again, over the front, down and out the back for our second loop. Now bending the end of our cord around and placing it down both loops. Pulling it out the right hand side. Now gently pulling it down. This time we want to pull it down evenly with the sliding knot on the other side. So gently pull this knot down tight 
slowly working into position so it sits nice and evenly with the other knot. Pulling it nice and tight. Now you should be able to slide both cords along so you can check that they're sliding okay. Now you just need to size your bracelet. So extending it out and placing it over your hand onto your wrist and adjusting those knots until you're happy with the bracelet. In this case, the two cords come pretty much the whole way around, but I actually like mine like that. So if you want it shorter, you can always untie and retie your sliding knots and you can always shorten that cord as well. But if you're happy with the positions of everything and how it's sitting, then cut your tails off just outside the knots and singe with a lighter so they don't fray. So that's how I place a fixed bead onto a double sliding knot bracelet.